All right, we're going to go through uh, number one from the 2009 Calc AD and BC exams. Um, it was the same question that year. So uh, the first question is that we're supposed to find um, the acceleration at uh, t equals 7.5 minutes. And uh, if you look on the graph, so that's that little line segment there we really just want the slope of. Um, so we're going to use the uh, two endpoints of the line segment to find that. So we got v of 8 minus v of 7 over 8 minus 7, which is 0.2 minus 0.3. Make sure you're reading the uh, graph correctly, um, which gives us negative 0 0.1. But then we need the units. So what I'm going to do is look at the units um, along the y-axis or along the vertical axis. And those are, uh, what are those, uh, so miles per minute. And then along the horizontal is in minutes, so that's miles per minute per minute or miles per minute squared. Um, and you can always analyze the units that way and sometimes it's really helpful, especially if you get lost. Um, so the next question is that uh, first I have to explain what the integral from zero to 12 of the absolute value of V of T dt means. And remember the absolute value of V of T dt is, um, or rather the absolute value of V of T is speed. So we're integrating speed. That's gonna give us a uh, total distance traveled. So this will just be the total distance um, that was traveled between t equals 0 and t equals 12. Um, all right, so the next thing we need to do is calculate that. So I'm going to break it up geometrically for us. Um, so the first thing is this triangle up here. So 1 half and the base and the height. And the next thing is this triangle down here. But since it's absolute value, that's actually above the x-axis. Or we're just going to consider the area to be positive. So 1 half and base times height. Um, from 4 to 5, there's nothing. So uh, we move on to this triangle, 1 half base times height. And now I'm going to get a rectangle. So that's just base times height. Um, this little triangle up here, I mean, there's a lot of ways you can cut this up, but that'll be a half base times height. Now I'm going to do this big rectangle. Um, so that'll give me uh, 4 times 0.2, just base times height. And finally, this triangle. Um, and it's useful to have done all these calculations because I'm probably going to need them later, or some of them later. Um, so that, when you sum it up, gives you 1.8 miles. So that's the total distance that she traveled. And you can see um, she actually doubled back. Um, and if you read the problem through, you'll see that she forgot something and had to go home. Um, so the next thing that we want is part C. Um, oh, that's actually about her going home. So we know that she turns around when her velocity um, changes from positive to negative. And you just look at the graph, the only time that happens is at t equals 2. So she must have turned around at t equals 2. Um, and finally, uh, we're asked uh, to figure out who lives closer to school, uh, Karen or this guy, Larry. So um, for Karen, what we need to do is we need the integral from 0 to 12 v of t dt, so no more absolute values. Um, but what happens is from uh, 0 to 2 and from 2 to 4 cancels out, and from 4 to 5 she's, I guess, just sitting at home, uh, not going anywhere. So we really only need the integral from 5 to 12, and we did all those calculations before, so I just really went back and added those up individually. Um, but we're looking for this region, and that ends up giving us 1.4 miles, and that's the uh, displacement um, that she has. So that's how far she is from home, which is just displacement. And Larry is, uh, they give us a function, and this is a calculator question, so I just punched that into my calculator and got 1.6 miles. That's actually the exact answer, otherwise I'd give you three decimals. Um, so we're comparing 1.4 to 1.6, and 1.4 is obviously less. So Karen lives closer. Um, so that's a pretty good problem to start off an AP exam with because, uh, pretty straightforward, not a lot to get confused over, uh, just distance versus displacement, really, um, and some geometry. So, uh, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.